Hi, my name is Ed Doherty. I'm the operations manager with the Graphite Diecast Division of Armstrong Mold. I'd like to take a couple of minutes to do, speak to you about our uh, Graphite Diecast process. Graphite Diecast process enables us to pour uh, production alloys such as A380, 390, and most of the zinc alloys that normally would be utilised in high pressure die casting. Uh, in addition to this, we're also able to achieve mechanical and physical properties so much the same as you would expect from a high pressure die cast process as well. Uh, additionally, our dimensional accuracy and part to part repeatability is uh, just similar to an actual production part as well, given that we uh, we have a fully CNC machine tool and it's a fully controlled uh, semi-automated process. Our lead time generally runs from two to four weeks, in which time we can basically build the tool, pour initial sample castings, and thereafter, generally within a week, we can actually be in production with, uh, with the parts. The uh, volumes we can generally see are somewhere in the region of anywhere from a couple of hundred pieces up to the thousands, where we can actually support the uh, bridge to production or an instance where uh, the the program may not be uh, long term or the quantities are not required. Uh, we can support low volume production in, in the thousands over a number of years. Our uh, tooling cost is generally somewhere in the region of 10 to 15 percent depending on part geometry. Um, part costing can uh, generally be about two to three times that of a die cast part. Uh, from a prototyping standpoint, using the graphite die cast process enables engineers to actually get apples to apples uh, comparisons when they go through any testing or beta testing, whether it be for strength, stress or uh, <coughs> thermal properties that they may be looking for. So if you ever have a need for uh, low, low volume or prototype uh, die cast uh, representative uh, castings, uh, feel free to go to our website, armstrongmold.com, and click on the link for the Graphite Diecast Division. And uh, I'd like to thank you for watching this YouTube video.